Hi, I'm Nadine Green, Senior Counsel with Ferent Media Solutions, and I'm here today to chat with you for just a few minutes about some of the sweepstakes and contests that you might be thinking about doing online through your social media marketing efforts. Actually, some of you have done sweepstakes and contests before through more traditional forms of advertising, including, of course, print. But here's the message that I have for you. Two-fold message. First of all, the rules in terms of running a contest or running a sweepstake have not changed. And secondly, the one thing you do not want to do is end up with an illegal lottery. To better help you understand what I'm going to talk about and to illustrate the concept of what makes a contest, what makes a sweepstakes, and what makes a lottery, I've provided you with this triangle that has, because it is a triangle, three sides, and you will see that they are labeled consideration, prize, and chance. What you need to know is that in order to stay legal, you may only ever use two sides of the triangle. If you use all three sides, you're going to have a lottery, and that is against the law. Let's talk about a contest first. What two sides of the contract do you have if you want to have that contest? The two sides that you may have to have the contest are the sides that represent prize. You're going to give the folks something if they win the contest and consideration. In order to play, they have to give you something. They have to give you some consideration. They have to do something for you. Perhaps show you a video, perhaps take a photo and submit it in a photo contest. When you have consideration, the participant giving you something, doing something for you, and you have a prize, that makes it a contest. Notice that you can't have a chance. There is no drawing. There is no lucky person who will win your contest. It is the person who wins it based on what they have submitted to you in consideration that you have decided is the best photo or whatever else it is that you have asked for that they are competing with. Now let's take a look at what makes up a sweepstakes. What two sides of the triangle do we use for a sweepstakes? In this particular case, what you use is, of course, again, the prize, the whole reason that they're going to enter your sweepstakes. This time, however, you do not want them to give you any consideration. They're not really going to provide you with anything except perhaps that you are going to ask them to register online or go to a website and do something very quickly. That means that you have a prize no consideration, so now this time you can have chance. The sweepstakes is what we traditionally refer to as a drawing. So when you have a prize that you are offering and you are asking people to take a chance on winning, that makes it a sweepstakes as long as they really aren't having to do much of anything in order to have a chance to play in this particular sandbox. So what makes your promotion actually illegal? What makes it cross over the line and become that lottery? It crosses over the line and becomes a lottery when you use all three sides of the triangle. If you have a prize that you are offering and you are having people take a chance to win it and you are also making them give you something, consideration, that's all three sides of the triangle and that is what can get you in trouble. So let's recap that now. If you want to do a contest, here's what you do. You offer a prize and you have people compete where the best thing that they do is the one that wins the prize. They give you something, they win a prize. There is no element of chance because the best submission is going to win. That makes it a contest that makes it legal. If you're going to do a sweepstakes, you will have that prize and you will offer them a chance to win, but for all practical purposes, they're not going to be giving you much of anything at all except perhaps the actual very simple online or through the social media website entry form. Once you cross the line, however, and incorporate all three elements of the triangle into your promotion, where people are going to get a prize, but they really have to do something to have a chance at that prize, and it is all about a chance and not the best prize that wins, you now have a lottery, and that can be a problem. 
So when you do your promotions, make sure that you think about the triangle, think about the elements of prize, consideration, and chance, and pick whatever two you want, because three will get you in trouble. I'd like to remind you at the end of this little mini lecture here that although I have the extreme honor of serving as senior counsel with Ferent Media Solutions, neither Ferent Media Solutions nor Nadine Green are providing you through this little video with legal advice. If you need further information, please do run your promotional ideas through your own legal resources. Thank you and I look forward to having another video moment with you in the near future.